we've been blessed, uh, blessed in many ways. Uh, Vancouver, uh, which made history in 1986 with the emergence of uh, triple therapy, combination therapy or heart, is going to make history again because um, treatment as prevention will be definitively established uh, at this conference as the new standard of care. There will be a number of uh, trials that are going to demonstrate unequivocally uh, that immediate access to antiretroviral therapy is life-saving. Uh, in particular, the ANRS Temprano study, uh, which was uh, reported earlier this year and is going to be discussed again here, and more recently, the STAR trial, uh, the results have not yet been fully disclosed, uh, uh, and they are going to be uh, put it uh, really a major show at this conference. Uh, both of those studies uh, almost identically uh, demonstrated that uh, having immediate access to antiretroviral therapy, regardless of CD4 counts, uh, upon being tested for the first time, it is life-saving. Uh, the reduction in disease progression is in the order of 50%, uh, so uh, it's now irrefutable. Uh, there is no, no discussion anymore. The science is all in. We need to get out with the testing uh, and identify people infected with HIV, and we need to offer them antiretroviral therapy immediately. The second piece of the puzzle uh, is that the HPTN of I2, uh, which was originally presented in Rome and demonstrated that treatment decreases HIV transmission by greater than 95 percent, uh, is going to be expanded upon here with the final results of that study, with the full completion of the follow-up of the whole cohort. And I am not allowed to tell you what it's going to show, but believe me, you're going to be very happy. Uh, the results are very compelling. Uh, the definitive evidence is in. Uh, treatment prevents disease progression, death, and virtually 100% transmission. Uh, so the road for us going forward is very clear. Uh, Michelle uh, has been championing the 90-90-90 target. I'm sure he wants to discuss that further himself, so I'm going to uh, leave that uh, uh, for him to talk about it. That's the new target. Vancouver will be the place where we will again, as Chris said, draw the line in the sun. The political leaders of the world, you are either with us or against us. We know the evidence. We know what needs to be done. Uh, it's up to you to decide whether you want to be counted as doing the right thing. And we need to come out of this conference with a single voice uh, because we have now the unique opportunity of ending the pandemic. We have a real excitement in what the AIDS response was able to, to give to us during these few years. I don't need to take you back, but uh, we have been able to demonstrate that uh, uh, we have uh, return on investment. Uh, AIDS success, starting by a uh, movement which has been put in place and trying to really also bring accountability in different parts of uh, the world by making sure that uh, we can call on uh, global solidarity and share responsibility, help us really to move uh, from $150 million a few years back to $22 billion. So we cannot say that uh, we didn't manage uh, to really uh, bring global solidarity into picture. But this global solidarity also produced results People just uh, four years back, when we were talking to the world, that uh, we're sharing with the world our goals of uh, 15 million people on treatment by 2015, people were telling us that we are just uh, a, a, a dreamer, <laughs> that it will uh, never happen. Uh, that uh, Secretary General Ban Ki moon launched in Addis uh, nine months before the deadline that we achieved the 15 million. Uh, by 2015. So for me, that is very important. But more than that one also, we need to say to the uh, uh, people that uh, today, we have more than 83 countries. 83 countries who have been able to stabilize or reduce significantly the number of new infections. We have been able to use resources to avert 30 million new infections and 8 million deaths during the last 15 years. So it is uh, uh, 
a, a, a success story. Uh, it has been uh, a collective uh, uh, success uh, story. And I want to just say again that uh, 15 years ago, there was a conspiracy of silence. Today, the 15 million I was talking about uh, or uh, 15 million of individual positive story. It's not just a number. It's uh, individual life save who are continuing to really contribute to the transformation of their society. And uh, let us also say that the window we have, we have only uh, five years, and we should not miss uh, this uh, window of opportunity to fast track, to reach our 90, 90, 90 goals, and uh, make sure that we could uh, end uh, this epidemic by 2030.